Or like this a mess. Goats. Ugh. What happened here? That's a lot of scorch marks. You know, I bet. Oh, I bet a dragon did that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, girls, right. That way's east, roughly. That way's mountains. I've got myself turned all the way around here. So I'm sort of... Sort of going in the right direction, but it's probably down here. And I recognise the uh, irony of going to the Twilight Sepulchre in the middle of the day. <laughs> yeah, well. Good. Turns out, Falk Reef is... Someone's got an anvil somewhere. Falk Reef is a little bit overgrown. It's uh, so alright. Goats. Some of these saplings are taller than me, which is kind of a feat. I hear birds. Crows, specifically. Ha <laughs> I... I am not going to step in that. I'm not... No, I'm a little too superstitious for that. Oh. I bet that's the place I'm supposed to be going. And we just... No, it's an easy. Hey, Foxy. Nice day for a... A delve into a thing. Hi. Wonder if that's why his name is Delvin Mallory. Yeah? <laughs> We've got ghosts. I shouldn't have stepped into that mushroom circle. Hello? I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? Uh... Well, I'd like to ask the same question of you. The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. The last? What happened to the rest? We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. Oh, wait a minute. Right, I've got my suspicions, but how are you to blame? I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. Ah, uh, that's... That's what I figured. You're gallus, aren't you? I haven't heard that name in a long time. How do you know of me? Well, I have the key. For one thing... The key! You have the skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frey? <laughs> dead. Very dead. A little bit skull caved in with a hammer dead. 
Then, it's over, and my death wasn't in vain. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. Eh, well... Not gonna lie. I did do this for the money. Were I able to provide it, I'd shower you in wealth for what you've done. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Oh, don't worry about it. And I didn't do this alone. Kalaya helped me. Kalaya? She's still alive? I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Well, she didn't, which is nice. Uh, it's a bit confusing for a while, but we got there. Uh, so here's the key. You can take it back to Nocturnal now. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key, but I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself... Well, die. Uh, well, uh, how can a spirit die? You're sort of already a bit ghosty. The sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Ebonair, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed. Severely limiting our ties to her. Which means I've got to do this bit alone, eh? I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the pilgrim's path to the Ebonair and replacing the key. Okay. I'm going to assume that you can't just take the key because you're a ghost and it would just sort of fall through your head, so, uh... What's wrong with the other Sentinels? With the Ebonmere closed, and their sudden severance from the realm of Everglow, I fear they've undergone a drastic change. They're shadows of their former selves. They no longer remember their true purpose, or their original identities. Oh, <laughs> they got... They got grey fox a little bit. And why aren't you like them? My spirit didn't manifest itself in the sepulchre immediately. So, fortunately, I wasn't present when the Ebon Mirror was sealed. However, ever since that day, I've felt my power waning. Slowly draining away. Okay. You know, that makes me think about things that Delvin have said, has said. Given that Carlyle and Bringyolf and I are now Nightingales as well, how does the Ebonmere affect the rest of us, all of us? The Ebonir is a conduit through which nocturnal influences our world. Not through magic or blessings, but purely through luck. <laughs> right, so Delvin was right. I like to think that luck is meaningless, and what we do involves skill. Pure skill. However... Yes, absolutely. Your skill is your own. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. But Nocturnal, she influences our luck. Nearly imperceptible assistance we get when we ply our trade. I... <laughs> uh, I think I've encountered some of that along the path, but... Uh, how is that... How does that work exactly? Think about the guild, about the state it was in when you began. Think about all the little things you might have heard. 
A pick breaking when it shouldn't have. The clouds in the nighttime sky clearing at the wrong moment. Our access to those bits of luck are what separates us from common bandits. Oh, like tripping a trap and managing to squirrel out of the way at the last minute. So I was right, that was nocturnal. So with the Ebon Mere closed, our luck is basically not. Precisely. There are a few who still call nocturnal Lady Luck. And for good reason. Hey, hey. I like that. So, last question. What will I face on the Pilgrim's Path? I wish I could help you. But I've been a prisoner in this very chamber for the last quarter century. The only possible help I've come across are the remains of some poor fellow who is trying to follow in your footsteps. Perhaps his journal can help? That... Is a question I'm glad I asked. Thanks, Gallus. Good luck, Nightingale. Right, some... Uh, some poor sword in here. Good God, it's dark, ain't on. I've just been outside for too long. Hello, uh, friend. Sorry about that, but I'm gonna take those. Ooh, nice. Okay, what have we got here? Besides some stuff that I need to bring back to Delvin. I don't know why the Enders talked me into this plan. You said the place would be full of riches, but I have yet to even see a single gold coin. It made matters worse. I think the other priests are beginning to suspect we are who we say we are. If they discover we're posing, of, posing as priests of nocturnal, I'm sure they're not going to simply ask us to leave nicely. I'll have to watch my step. As an acolyte of nocturnal, in quotes, I've been assigned a mentor. Old dark elf fellow by the name of Lothelvis. Sure, maybe if I act the part, I can pry some information from him about the pilgrim's path and swears to me that all the... Uh, you write, write Lothella's tests. Oh, hello. Shadows are their former selves, sentinels of the dark. They wander evermore and deal swift death to defilers. Above all, they stand, vigilance everlasting, beholden to the mark, yet contentious at the glow. Oh, interesting. This is a riddle. Offer what she desires most, but reject the material. For her greatest want is that which cannot be seen, felt, or carried. Something about not gold, probably. Direct and yet indirect. The path of s the goats. The path to salvation. A root of cunning. With fortune betraying the foolish. Heh, <laughs> don't I know that? The journey is complete. The Empress's is, is. The Empress's embrace. Awaits the fallen. Hesitate not if you wish to gift her your eternal devotion. He also mumbles some nonsense phrases like not as a new day and how he was the ghost of the... And how he was the ghost of the sun. Eh, alright. I'm keeping this. Oh, uh, what's the first one? Where'd it go? There it is. The scars are bothering me today. Shadows of the four of ourselves, sentinels of the dark. So that's probably... I've got to deal with ghosts. Beholding to the murk yet contentious of the glow. I don't know what that means, but I guess I will. Alright. Uh, something tells me a torch is not a good thing to have in here. Found something. Let's see how this goes, I guess. <sighs> All right. I'm glad my hammer is made of ice, enchanted ice, so it never melts. And that means 
It is technically a magical weapon, even if it doesn't really do much. Except smack really well. Alright. Hello, Nightingales. I see. Mortal fool. No one hides from the dead. Oh, jeez. You are not Oh, there's more. Oh, you bastards are pretty hard to see. Oh, hello. Oh. Eternal slum awaits. There we are. Oh, that's nice. We like ice spikes to the abdomen. Yes, we do. Uh, oh. Oh, there's orc strongholds in Skyrim. I think I've seen one of those. Let's see. Like that. Like that. Don't really care about... Oh, jeez. I'm not exactly honourable enough for Malekath. That's nice. Ah, that's what this is. Some sort of podium. Interesting. Oh! oh. No one hides from the dead. You're allowed to call me a mortal fool for that one. Did I just behead a ghost? I'm not sure that's supposed to work like that. <laughs> I can't see at all. However, let me back up a bit so that I can read this thing. Above all, those stand vigilance everlasting, beholden to the murky yet contentious of the glow. So don't step into the light, is what I'm hearing. Seems like magic or the gloom. And I'm not the sneakiest. Patience. Alright, don't go that way. Right. Will anyone get mad at me if I pull out a torch? Yes, no. Well, that will make this a little bit easier. Probably. Making sure I know where the light is, so I don't get anywhere near those things. Again! I'm really bad at this. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh. 
think I've tripped every trap in this place. Oh god, it's dark. Right. Well. Someone is not happy with me about that. Alright. Stop. Oh. Run. What even was that? Gods. Ah. Not like that one bit. Okay. There's enough light I need to read. Offer what she desires most, but reject the material. For her greatest reward is that which cannot be seen, felt, or carried. Alright. Ah. I feel like sneaking's a great idea. Okay, so that's probably a warning. Don't touch the chest. Oh. Uh, all right. Uh, and what does Nocturnal want most? Besides stealth. See if there's anything in here. There's nowhere to put a key. Shadows. Uh, now we read again, because this Nostrum fellow is a lot smarter than I am. Oh yeah, her greatest want is that which cannot be seen, felt, or carried, and you can't really see in the dark very well. Direct and yet indirect, the path to salvation is a route of cunning, with fortune betraying the foolish. So, I guess we'll see what that means. Perhaps to keep the eyes open for traps. So the skeleton key. Definitely works. I'm gonna go ahead and sneak past that Nightingale Sentinel if I can. And also that one.
nurse. Anybody in here? Stupid things to say out loud. Because who in their right mind is going to answer with a yes? Doesn't look like there's a way out. Oh. Shit. What have you got to say about this one, Mr. Smart Guy? The journey is complete. The Empress Embrace awaits you. Awaits the Fallen. Oh, well, I've already hesitated, but, uh... uh I don't know. That's a pretty steep fall. That's not gonna help. <laughs> Right. Ah. No, oh, I've taken worse drops from the rigging before. Never mind. Well, now what? Nice dagger. I can't believe it. I came all this way, solved all these ridiculous riddles just to end up here. After I memorized Nostrum's clues he collected from Lithellis, I slit his throat. Now I guess the joke's on me because I'm stuck here and I don't see a way out. Hope someone comes by soon, I'm getting hungry. Aha, uh -huh, right. You know, I might be able to climb this. Okay. Oh, jeez. Well, there you go, Nocturnal. Oh. My, my. What do we have here? Hello. It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world. Or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, You've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonmere mortal, for this is where the agent of Nocturnal is born. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, Nightingale. See to it the key stays this time, won't you? Ah! 
glorious man. <laughs> All right. Mhm. Mm yeah, we're we're good. We're fine. Hello, Kaloya. Gods. I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. Uh huh. Uh, I guess. He sounded sort of indifferent to me. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Uh, right. Alright, what's this be- uh, sorry, what's this about becoming an agent of Nocturnal? The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The Crescent Moon represents the Agent of Shadow, the Half Moon for the Agent of Subterfuge, and the Full Moon for the Agent of Strife. Why can't I be all free? I think I know the answer, but go ahead and tell me. This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. That actually makes sense. Good on her, I think. Now what now? Now, your life as a Nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the Sepulchre in order to defend it. Heh. <laughs> well, I can't imagine some pilgrim or, or thief or Nightingale coming by in however long and having to face a big ghostly orc with a big ghostly hammer. <laughs> Aye, and you? The guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. The beginning of what? Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves. And we're damn good at what we do. A lot the way you think, Alaya. I guess a pirate is just sort of a different type of thief, isn't it? Now, I'm not stealthy. So I don't know about the agent of stealth. I'm sort of too honest for subterfuge, I think. Tell me about the agent of strife. This agent of strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great injury to them. At the same time, this tether will bolster the agent's own life force, making him stronger. That actually sounds... Not my type of thing either. Okay, what's the Agent of Subterfuge then? The Agent of Subterfuge utilizes Shadow to cloud the judgment of those around him. By weaving the darkness to their will, this Agent can manipulate others into fighting for the Nightingale for a limited time. Okay. And the Agent of Stealth? The Agent of Stealth is the master of remaining unseen. They are able to manipulate the darkness and use it to their advantage. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this agent literally becomes invisible. That would certainly help me with my stealth problem. However... I've got to think about that a little bit. Choose your path and your journey will be complete. Uh So strife is sort of too magey for me. I mean they all sort of are. I heard a bat. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with subterfuge. You never know when you might need to convince someone to get off someone else's back, you know? 
Carlyle? Oh, hello. Carlos. I feared I would never see you again. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this Nightingale, your fears would have come true. She honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Farewell, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlyle. So that was... you all right? Yes, Nightingale. What is it? Where did he just go? Gallus's oath has been paid. His actions have satisfied the terms. Now his spirit becomes one with the Everglow, the realm of perpetual twilight and the cradle of shadow. So he's gone. Just gone, gone. No. Not gone. He's become one with the Shadows. This is the greatest honor a Nightingale can possibly achieve. In death, he's become a part of that which we use to live. Sir, so they're a part of the darkness around us, then? Absolutely. When we say, walk with the Shadows, we are asking those Nightingales who have passed on to protect us. It's believed that they are literally what guides our uncanny luck by placing their hands in ours. That's why the Ebonmere needed to be reopened. Without it, there's no way Nocturnal was able to allow them through. Oh, that's sweet. That's, that's really sweet, actually. So whenever you get a little, a little hint of luck, it'll be like Gallus holding your hand. Oh, that's nice. So where will you be from now on? I've decided to make my home at Nightingale Hall. Since it's your home as well, I hope to see you and Brynjolf there. Of course, I may visit some of Skyrim cities to acquire things from time to time. Can't afford to get rusty now, can we? <laughs> of course. And how will I know if I'm needed here? If this place is in danger ever again, the shadows will call. Should the need arise, a portal connects the sepulchre and Nightingale Hall. Use it whenever you wish. Right. Speaking of that, I've got things to turn into Del the Delvin. Farewell. Eyes open, and walk with the shadows. Ah, oh, you too. Eh. Uh. Trust Gallus, I guess. Damn. Uh, oh, they're all portals. Okay. Good to know. They all go to the same place, don't they? Don't mind me. Definitely don't feel like an idiot. Oh, they're all purple now. Oh. So that goes to the inner sanctum. Apparently there's one to the... I might be just a little bit blind. 
Then again, magic is not my strong suit. Alright, let's see how this works. Alright, back here again. Uh Oh, maybe she just did just say the sepulchre. Or not. Kalaya, I don't know where you went, but I'm confused. Deeply, deeply confused. Alright, let's try a different one and see what happens. Oh, nope. You know, I probably just misunderstood. <laughs> Alright, well. Gotta go see Delvin anyway, I've got a ship in my pocket. I've got a ship in my pocket. I've got a fresh understanding of crows. It is the wrong time of night for all of you to be out. On the other hand, it's probably nocturnal. All right. I guess we'll see what my luck is like now. Eyes open! And walk with the shadows. Oh. And also the owls, apparently. <laughs> 